a little warning before we start this is not a list of horror movies with a vaguely occult aesthetic. While there are one or two horror movies on this list, the majority are just mainstream movies that have a message that can be understood as being spiritual or esoteric in some way. To give you an example of what I mean by this, let's kick off the list with The Darjeeling Limited, probably one of Wes Anderson's least well-known movies. Uh, it's my favourite by a long shot because these three brothers who are walking around India trying to have a spiritual experience end up having a spiritual experience but absolutely not in the ways that they were expecting. Uh, I really like the setup of the movie, I really like the feelings and the character interactions in the movie and that really wonderful surprise of the spiritual experience happening from life rather than from them actively doing something to get a spiritual experience. I thought that was absolutely wonderful. The next movie on my list is an animation by Studio Ghibli. They won an Oscar for Spirited Away back in 2003. One of my favourite films of all time, if not my number one favourite. And I really like the courage demonstrated by the main character, Chihiro, throughout the story as she navigates this unfamiliar world of spirits. The spirits that she comes across can be mean and just unkind in general. Some of them are very kind, but she always treats them with respect and with kindness and generosity and it turns out very well for her in the end. This message encouraging courage in the face of adversity and in the face of the spiritual world rings very true to me. Next is a movie that had a big impact on me when I first saw it in 2001. This is Richard Kelly's Donnie Darko. Far from being the horror movie that it advertises itself to be, it's in fact the story about free will and a desire to conform with one's own destiny or not. I think that it's a fascinating message and I think that the way that it's visualised is very clever. The next movie on my list is a movie from 1997 featuring Al Pacino, Keanu Reeves and Charlize Theron. It's The Devil's Advocate in which the idea of hell is explored, not as a place underground that one experiences after death, but as something that is experienced during life as a direct consequence of certain actions and decisions. It's the movie that got me reading the Bible for the first time. I was curious to find out if there was anything else in that collection of books that could be taken not so literally, but as an actual lesson for life. Next on the list is Kung Fu Panda, a light-hearted animation by DreamWorks this time. While on the surface the lovely story about a fat panda becoming a Kung Fu master is very heartwarming, the character of Master Ugwe, the ancient tortoise in charge of passing down the knowledge of Kung Fu to the rest of the characters, is full of wise advice. Every time he opens his mouth he says something profound, for example about the nature of the universe or explaining how our expectation of the future can affect our experience of reality. Next is a psychological horror movie from 1990. Jacob's Ladder can be a difficult experience to get through, however the cathartic nature of the movie really makes this one of my all-time favourites. The late Danny Aiello plays the main character's angelic chiropractor, who helps him physically and mentally through his daily traumas, and introduced me to the wisdom of the medieval German mystic Meister Eckhart. Next on my list is the Aladdin remake of 2019. While some might argue that the 1992 original was far superior, the remake has got some great esoteric messages, specifically about intentions and the difficulties but importance of remaining a good person as we acquire power. The next film on my list is a very difficult film to get through. It's Midsummer, um, not difficult in the sense that you'll want to turn it off, but difficult in the sense that it's a harrowing experience. Now, aside from the fact that every one of those horrific rituals depicted in the movie has a historic basis in real Viking practices, the film itself manages to subvert our expectations about darkness. The action takes place during Midsummer Festival in a fictional community in Sweden, and so other than a short introduction at the beginning of the film that takes place in America, the majority of the film is fully lit. The sun never goes down and this is so unlike most horror movies which take place in dark dingy places. This is absolutely gorgeous from the moment they arrive at the camp uh, all the way to the end of the movie. Everything oozes with beauty and light 
and it's one of the most terrifying things that i've ever seen. the concept that something so light could be so disturbing is an uncomfortable but fundamental esoteric teaching next on my list is a nineteen seventy three psychedelic trip of a movie by alejandro jodorowsky. the holy mountain is jam-packed from beginning to end with esoteric teachings on top of presenting a huge quantity of occult knowledge ranging from a surprisingly in-depth analysis of the tarot all the way to alchemy Khodorovsky is a master of the language of dreams and the whole movie is infused with this dreamlike quality which is not something that I've ever seen before or since. Finally, and I've really kept the best till last, A Dark Song was released in 2016 directly to DVD and I honestly don't think it would be possible to better show a spiritual encounter with the medium of film. It is set up like a horror movie, although I'd suggest that horror movie fans might be disappointed and people hoping to learn the ins and outs of the Abramelin ritual might be disappointed to learn that it's entirely fictionalised here. It would be very boring to see the actual Abramelin ritual being depicted on screen. However, what sets this film apart for me is its message that all paths do lead to the mountain top. The very dark route that the main character takes is very difficult to watch and yet it leads to such beauty. I can't express how much I love this film and how true to life the main character's journey is in my experience. I hope you enjoyed this list. Like every list, it's a subjective experience. My top 10 are not necessarily going to be your top 10. Remember that this is a list of movies with esoteric or spiritual teachings rather than simply movies with pseudo-occult settings. If, however, there's a movie that you feel I've missed and should be in this top 10 list, don't hesitate to leave a comment below. I'd be very interested to know what you think. And don't forget to leave a thumbs up and to subscribe as it really helps me with the channel and I will see you very soon. Take care.